Yeah, I'm in. All right. Hey, what is going on, everybody? This is Tony 2.0, and welcome to... I don't know what the hell I'm going to call this. Maybe like a survivor's guide to H1Z1. I am joined today with... Uh, God, it's MLK Day, and I'm joined with Black Death. That's a little <laughs> fucked up. Um, it's fucked up. But, this, uh... yeah, guys, H1Z1 has got an incredibly mixed first reviews from people, and when I got in and played it for the first three, four hours or so, I actually really enjoyed it. Other than the fact that the loot system was pretty messed up early, uh, it's and and then obviously the the launch issue. It's been pretty good, and and uh, Black, you've been playing quite a bit of this game, haven't you? Oh yeah, I have uh, probably close to thirty hours logged already. Jesus, <laughs> uh, I've been. I was up till four in the morning last night playing this game. Oh, I know that uh, you know a lot of people are making comparisons. Uh, you know this game to to Daisy and things like that. And, and honestly, there I, I think about the only comparisons you can find is that it's survival and zombies. I don't know a whole lot else. Um, yeah, yeah. The the genre, you know, is obviously growing. It's a popular genre, and there are more and more people trying to come up with their own niche in that genre. So it's kind of hard not to say it's like this or it's like that. Yeah, yeah. It, um, you, you know, honestly, first impressions were. It, it looks like they are they are trying. Um, I, I was incredibly frustrated with launch day just because of the connection to the server issues, but um, they patched every single day. They've done hot fixes. They've addressed and listened to the community, which is, God, that's leaps and bounds ahead of where most games are right now. You know, when when launch comes, and since this is early access, you know, there's only there's just so much that you can expect from it. You know. Yeah. Oh, um, this guy has a knife. Don't hurt me. I'm running. Oh, you're toast, dude. Yeah, I might be toast. <laughs> I'm going to run away. He didn't attack me, so that's good. Uh, what is your first impressions of the game? Obviously, if you played 30 hours already, you don't hate it. Uh, yeah, I think that goes without saying. Um, you know, it, uh, it. I love zombie survival. It's probably my favorite genre to play, uh, and I've played just about every game out there uh, in that genre um i like this game a lot i mean obviously it had its alpha issues which are to be expected i, I was really disappointed the first day you know when i go to pick a new server and log in and i see that there's a 30 minute queue to oh, log yeah. in yeah <laughs> so that was disheartening um but I mean, you know, grand scheme of things, that's actually pretty, you would think that that's encouraging. That means that there's going to be a decent population of people playing. Uh, as we're True. playing this right now on Twitch, I think there's, they're number one on Twitch, uh, over 100,000 people watching. It's, um, you know, it's pretty, pretty good for an early alpha game. And I have to say, you know, with some of the other big uh, competition out there, like Rust and DayZ, I, I am impressed with the first day of playing when I finally got in that the the community on the PvP servers uh, weren't as rough as say Rust. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like the thing to be an a naked asshole with a rock and Rust, and uh, it probably took an hour honestly in my first pvp server before somebody came and bashed me in the head <laughs> most yeah. people were helpful and uh even though we're just talking about the game and uh, asking questions and just sharing information really i was blown away the, the community the player community seems to be uh rock solid so pretty, far pretty good so far that's for sure um, you know, as we first get into this, and, and on my screen right now, what I'm doing is eating berries because when you first get into it, just surviving uh, tends to be the most important thing, and collecting available amounts of food and keeping your hydration level up seems to be the biggest challenge. The zombies currently are pretty much brain dead idiots, uh, and that will yeah. change. We've heard, but uh, they they're kind of just a like a secondary part to this game right now yeah i would agree with that completely uh the beginning's a little rough yeah because you're just trying to get started and especially if you're not familiar with the game uh, um 
and then the zombies, especially on the PVE server. I spent some time over there just to try to get better acclimated, you know, with where the good spots, uh, the hot spots, and yeah. you know, stuff like that without being interrupted or constantly set back. And being um, able to navigate the map a little bit because it is a pretty big, uh, pretty big map area. Yep, it's not bad. Uh, I would say the the Rust map is probably bigger in comparison, but I've heard, I don't know how much weight there is to this, but that, you know, this isn't everything. You know, yeah, there, a, there'll be yeah. more once the servers are a little more stable, I'm guessing. Yeah, once you have a, a car, yeah, on uh, some of my past experiences there in the PvE server, once you get a car, you can probably go around this map in... About five about, minutes, I'm guessing. There, there's yeah, not much to it. Yeah, about ten minutes. Yeah, about ten minutes or so. So I am, right now, I'm currently just going through the discovery things for, for crafting. Um, you know, again, one of the big things here is actually being able to gather up uh, anything that resembles a useful amount of material. Usually the, the biggest places you find those are in the cities. Um, you can wander through the woods like I am right now and uh, pick up sticks and berries and little things like that. And then, you know, you run across little caravan uh, outposts, hidden little buildings, homes, uh, just little encampments that, that have been apparently left over from when the, the zombies took over. But uh, what would you say is your, your first recommendation for new players uh, I have a good one and that is um, the first tip is not everything has like a graphical cue that you can interact with it, it was the first time I played I died of starvation I had no idea that you can, you can even pick the blackberries the berries, out of yeah. the black yeah I had no idea and so that's number one is uh, the blackberry thing is your bread and butter to start um the second is stop bothering with searching every cubby because the best loot is actually laying around it's yeah. not inside of something uh, out of 30 hours of play i the, the the best item i found was uh cold medicine and i and i've literally found probably four items in 30 hours looking inside other items like cabinets or whatever all the good stuff has been laying somewhere guns uh it's always on the, the tables or just laying around yep. on different areas another another big thing to mention just starting off first is make sure that you know where a water source is if you get to an area where there isn't very many blackberries your hydration is usually the first thing to go and so uh you want to acquire something to collect that water with and make sure you know where water is yep and wherever you can find a water source uh typically is where you'll see a lot of berries as well uh there's a lot of lakes and rivers and streams in the map so anywhere al along those you'll, you'll find uh berry bushes yeah we um you know i contrary to what you were just saying uh, I was, when I, when I played in the other server I was on, and, and for you guys, we were both starting fresh off of this uh, C, or off of this server, so we both have nothing, which is a little annoying because in my other server I have quite a bit of stuff, but, uh, you know, it's it's really just about find, find a way to survive early. So, uh, as I was hunting through things, I did actually manage to find quite a few things in the, uh, in the boxes and things like that. Um, definitely not as much as what's laying around, you know. A, I, had, I think I had an AK and a handgun that were both just laying out on tables in random homes. Yeah, I should say that <clears throat> that experience, about 20 hours of that experience was on a PVE server, so I, I assume, based on our differences in experience, that each server seed may be different or based on the rule set and also uh, based on on how much population because um you know as things get picked through the spawn times are a little bit wonky right now so that uh, that definitely makes a, a difference i'm just i'm hunting berries like a motherfucker so if you need berries i got you <laughs> <laughs> uh 
Let's see, and then uh, let's see another good tip. Let me think of what another good one would be. I will. Than... I will. Let me. Let me. Let me drop my first tip. Once you get in and, and make yourself a little bit sustainable with berries or whatever it be, um, if you're looking for off the beaten path kind of places that you can search, find power lines. Find power lines that lead away from the roads, and those will take you by encampments, houses, homes. I found a like a, a mansion thing uh, that was just outcropped right off of the. Uh, power lines and so that seems to be a pretty good trick there is no map like on-screen map that you can see in this game but uh, you know all the all the servers are the same it's the same map everywhere so once you kind of find a little bit of positioning where you're at um, to find some things that maybe haven't been picked through is uh, find those power lines and just you know walk walk down them get away from as much civilization as you can and uh, and hopefully find some some loots. That's that that was my trick to finding it is get away from from all the people. Uh, another thing is people definitely they congregate around the little cities, so be careful with that. Yeah, there's hot spots definitely. I think I am up in the northwest corner because I'm on the large mountain range uh, border. Uh, I'm gonna send you a link. Uh, <clears throat> the there map. are yeah. some good resources out there. Yeah, there's a. A good uh, interactive map out there. If you're in the game and uh, you hit enter to open the command line or chat window, you can just type forward slash loc for location, okay. and it'll give you a, a, an x, y, and z coordinate. Uh, the map is based on uh, 5,000 by 5,000 of these blocks. It goes from negative 2,500 to positive 2,500. So I'm uh, at. So let, let's see if we can find where you're at. I am at 3546 by 2950. Okay, we're on complete opposite ends That's because good. I'm at I'm at negative 2094 oh, no. by by 3000. <laughs> so we got to walk and meet in the middle somewhere. Um, our goal for this guys and I'd like to do a series as long as uh, Black is willing to do it is uh, see how long we can survive, see what we can make of of this area and even if we were you know to die or get picked off or something like that as long as one of us was able to hold down the whatever homestead we're able to create um, I think that would be a, a good uh, a fun little playing experience let's uh, let's talk about bugs you were you were discussing before we started recording kind of two main bugs so uh, go ahead and give me the first one you already told me uh, all right uh, a minor one that I've had repeatedly happen is uh, when I'm playing through the Steam client, you know, you would shift tab to bring up the Steam overlay, and several times I've had the game crash when I've done that. Um, and then the worst one, which has had uh, happened numerous times, and this is a deal breaker for me, <laughs> this is the first time I died was because of this bug. Um, during the animation of the bow, I mean, there's a makeshift bow you can make early on in the game <clears throat> and there's a slow animation of drawing the bow back to aim it and I've had the game uh, get stuck in that animation and during the animation you know you're obviously supposed to be able to, to be slow and not be able to run and reload at the same time but you get stuck in this animation and so you're literally at a crawl's pace and then you can't select any other weapons you can't do anything you're stuck Oh. And if you're in the middle of a fight, you're doomed because yeah. there's no, you can't run away, you can't attack, you can't swing anything. <laughs> so I, I had that happen. Bad. I had that happen with melee in uh, one of the servers that I was just messing around on the first PvP server. Uh, it was melee, and I swung with my hatchet, and then it let me swing four or five times in a row, and then just completely froze up on me, and then I got killed by two people. So. <laughs> Definitely some bugs. I will say for, as far as tech stuff goes, this game can kind of almost run on a potato. It's uh, it's not amazingly optimized. However, I will tell you this. Uh, if this is the first time you've ever seen one of my videos or the hundredth time you've seen one of my videos, I have a pretty impressive PC. I have a, I have a 4790K with a GTX 970. And this thing maxes out the temp on my 970. It just it pushes it. It's so horribly optimized. And it may be for NVIDIA cards. I don't know what it is, but it just, man, it, 
I play Shadows of Mordor and Far Cry 4 on Ultra, and uh, it doesn't do anything to touch my my graphics card, but this game for some reason does. What uh, what cards did you say? What card did you say you're using? Yep, oh, I got a, a, a little old water. system. I know I got somebody following me too. Um, That's not good. Uh, I'm running a 2600K i7 with uh, twin 6950s, and uh, if they're overclocked, uh, like 1350, and on the core and uh, or the memory and. Uh, oh, I think 800 on the core uh, or nine and a quarter. I can get about 50 frames a second with everything maxed, including the render distance. Uh, I wouldn't say the gameplay is bad by any stretch. No, it but... still runs pretty smooth. It just, uh, you know, for me, it just cranks out this fucking thing. Is there a One difference in would... space, like for shirts? Do you know? Uh, like, do, do yes. You... Um, not, not not much for shirts. Sure. It's mostly uh, like belts and backpacks. Okay. Yeah. Um, I found two cabins here, and one had a bottle of water in it, so I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah, I don't know uh, how much like mid or later game uh, tips, but the one thing that I found out today was like the game changer was uh, if you're in a hot spot. And you'll you'll notice several hot spots when you're playing the game where people like to hang out. And then gener generally, when there's a lot of uh, zombies around, you can pretty much guess that there's a little better loot around there. Yeah. Uh, like in one of the towns, is a police station. That's a real hot spot. Um, but uh, if you're farming zombies, where you're just uh, grinding it out, you'll you'll notice that they'll drop. Uh, a small it looks like a satchel or cloth sack and once in a while a buddy of mine a fellow clanmate we were on a roll and we kept receiving these notes and i can't, I can't remember the exact name of it now it's, it's driving me crazy and i apologize i can't remember yeah. but it's called it's called a something note and basically you read the note and it gives you a hint as to where there's a loot cache oh nice and, and um this was uh, the complete counterpart to the argument of people saying that the game is pay to win because this facet of the game pretty much proves that incorrect. Um, so we went on probably half a oh, dozen of these nice. missions. I found a military backpack. God damn, that was quick. Oh, and a hat. What's up? Um, I, on the first mission I did, you it tells you, you know, you gotta. I hid this stash. It's like a note between two people. You know, in a storyline, so to speak. Yeah. And they're like, "Oh, I hit the stash, you know, under this bridge in this town." And so you go there and you take this note, and you'll you'll find the stash box, and it's empty. You put the note in the stash box, and then close it, and then reopen it, and bingo, oh, you nice. get jackpot. And I get the first time I got like a hundred rounds with an AR rifle. Oh, nice. And a military backpack which had a two thousand space uh, bulk uh, storage. Capacity. Yeah, that, mine has twelve hundred, so that's not uh, that's that's huge in this game. Being able to carry the stuff that you find. Yeah, it's uh, just like when I've played Skyrim or Fallout. It, you turn into a hoarder really quick. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, we. Um, so so right now where I am, my main objective here is to craft, either craft a weapon or procure a weapon. Uh, I was on a little bit of a run there. I hit three. Uh, I hit three homes that uh, hadn't been picked through apparently so I am I am running through the woods I tend I tend to really try to stay away from the main populated areas if at all possible just because there's always some dick <laughs> well early on too when you don't have much uh, I mean you're just gonna be uh, outpowered yeah for you know sure. if somebody's got a freaking branch and you got your bare fists <laughs> yeah we're in trouble that's for sure <laughs> So I got the purified water. Um, Punji sticks. That's a trap, isn't it? Yep, like the old tiger traps, the sharpened spikes in the ground. Uh, blackberries, can you learn a recipe? You can learn a recipe with blackberries, but I can't do that yet. Yep, a good one. Uh, that could be another good tip, really, is uh, if you have purified water, it, which you can obtain if you can get a fire anywhere, whether it's a... Uh... Yeah, well, you start with a flare, so if you can manage to chop stuff down, you can start a fire. 
And that was uh, one struggle for me, was finding an axe or any tool <laughs> to be able to chop wood. It See, took a man, long time. I'm telling you, I've never, I every time I've gone in and played, I've found one, like, almost immediately. Oh, they turned uh, the rain back on. I thought they turned it off. I, I will show you guys that just the the attention to detail on my screen here you can see the glistening of the sun off of the rain soaked ground and stuff they did put quite a bit of effort into this um, the the graphics although you know like the environment doesn't really move with you the grass is pretty stagnant when you uh, move through it there's some animals that are pretty well pretty well characterized I think as far as you know their attacks and movements will be probably a lot better uh, in the future but uh, they definitely tried with this thing. The rain, I'm guessing, is going to get a lot better looking in the uh, coming patches as well. Yeah, I think the textures as a whole are, you know, in their infancy. You can, you can definitely tell, though, the people that made this game have a lot of experience in making video games because there's, uh, there's some pretty good, pretty good stuff here. Uh, you know, just as a base for a very early game. Enter, oh, enter access code, it's locked. How is there a locked thing? Does that mean somebody's uh, using it? Yeah, it must be, is it a chest, or what is it? Oh, it's an outhouse looking thing. Yeah, that's a basic uh, shelter that somebody built. Oh, okay, I, I, that is the first one I've come across. He does have a campfire out. I could use my flare, but I'm going to hold on to it, I think. Yeah, is there, claw. like, matches and shit that you can... Uh, there, you can pick up lighters off, uh, zombies, uh, I've found maybe two or three so far. Yeah. Um, your best bet is to try to get some cloth. Oh, the, the first thing you can do is rip your shirt right off the get-go. You can right-click on your shirt and shred. Um. Oh, really? And then that'll give you some cloth to start, and then you can make a bow with a cloth and a stick or oh, a so we're branch. Gonna, I'm gonna do that now. Then see, this is a good thing I'm playing with you. <laughs> Crafting. Okay, so in discovery, then if you use your, oh, I don't see where it. You gotta make up. sure you have the, inv the inventory space too to hold it. I have, I have drop. a backpack, bro. Oh, so sorry, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> and a quick tip, um, if you need to drop something, you can hold shift when you right click on the item, and when you select drop, you'll be given a, uh, like a counter, you can select the whole, all of the whole stack to drop it, or... Yeah. So, I shredded my shirt, however, I don't see the... Shreds. Should yeah, a scrap of cloth is what you should have, and then yeah. you can throw that in discovery, and uh, you'll yeah. learn a few things. I've shredded it twice, which is, I'm guessing it's bugging right now, because I'm guessing you shouldn't be able to do that twice. Yeah, it would stick. And you have to put it in your inventory first, or? Nope. That was one thing that I like about this game is you can craft with resources laying on the ground so for example if you chop a tree down yeah you know those logs are uh, 100 or 300 b bulk each yeah you don't have to pick them up if you're just standing over them you could start crafting arrows from them i am i'm guessing it's just bugging on me right now since it won't allow me to for that. i need to find you where are you where are you buddy <laughs> I know it's tough to talk to the game and still try to be astute about your surroundings. Yeah, what's going on around you. Um, one thing I, I, I do wish that they would add is um, the ability to like eat multiple blackberries at a time. I think that would be a pretty good addition to the game because who, who of us couldn't take a handful of blackberries, you know? I totally agree. That is pretty annoying. Or to at least... Uh, like be able to just mow the whole stack or something. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I am trying to. I have gauze. I guess I can discover my gauze here. Uh, um, okay, I got my bow. Uh, yeah, I got a tin hat too. So I think that's what it takes to be able to purify water, right? You can 
boil it in that? Or does it even matter? Can you just do it out of bottles? Uh, th that's kind of the funny thing is you just take the plastic bottle and throw it in the campfire and it becomes purified. <laughs> hey man, the Mythbusters proved you can boil water in plastic. So I believe it. <laughs> this, uh, you know, what I was looking for out of this game, and I don't know what you were looking for, is I wanted it to be hard as fuck. I, I didn't want it to be easy. I wanted it to feel incredibly lonely. And I wanted it to feel like there wasn't a fucking million people around that you could, you know, survive with easily. I want the game to get difficult. And I think as they ramp up these zombies' uh, intelligence level, uh, apparently it's a bug or something with the server loads that's causing them to be so easy. But once that happens, this game's going to get infinitely more interesting to me, at least. Yeah, I'm... Uh... I need to test it on this server, but on the PVE server, it, you would, I mean, it would take a serious issue, like what I explained earlier, the bug, to die, yeah. because um, it was to the point where a Q is your friend in this game, and Q is shove or push, yeah. and uh, you could just sit there and run right up to a zombie push and then they're stunned for like two or three seconds and then just bam headshot <laughs> and then i was just doing it over and over and over again uh, uh, yeah it's uh they're definitely not the uh like i said they're just kind of a secondary part of this uh as i come up here to a road what i'm gonna do is we're gonna stop this episode and we'll pick it back up here uh the next time and and uh continue searching for each other and for stuff i'm coming up to some abandoned cars here but we're gonna we're going to call it for this episode, guys. Uh, again, Black, thanks for uh, coming in and checking this out. And, uh, well, thanks for having me. The first, and we'll, uh, we'll hopefully keep this playing. Uh, guys, we will, we'll be back soon. All right. See ya.